Hey Taurus, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of Wilder Tarot. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for the end of November, beginning of December 2020. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Taurus, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. Please be sure to put yourself where you go on the scenario. Guys, it is energy and it's a general read, so all messages won't resonate for every Taurus on the planet. Be sure to keep what resonates for you, my beautiful stubborn Tauruses and check what doesn't okay guys if the messages do resonate for you be sure to give me the like the comment the subscribe and the share and if you're interested in booking me for a private reading my email information will be provided in the description box below all right Taurus my readings are intended to be about love but it could resonate in other areas of your life such as work and family just be sure to put it where it goes okay all right for my beautiful Tauruses in love at the end of November beginning of December 2020 i don't know why i'm even saying the end of november november is basically over the sun you could be dealing with a leo here but there's something here about a blessing and illumination the sun is the happiest card in tarot so there's some sort of blessing or illumination coming in there's a very warm and fuzzy feeling here going on give me more for taurus that's a beautiful energy let's see where this is going for taurus spirit give me more for taurus and love spirit make it plain for me give me more for taurus Judgment, make two major arcanas here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But there is some sort of second chance or resurrection that's bringing in some sort of illumination and abundance and happiness here. Wow, you could be dealing with the Scorpio or Leo. But there's a second chance here, a huge one that's gonna that's making you very happy here, or, or you're getting a blessing here, a second chance or something. Or a situation that you thought was over is resurrecting, but it's making you happy. Give me more for Taurus or someone here. Yeah, there you go. The Hierophant. Three majors. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of, there's some spiritual stuff going on here, Taurus. This could definitely be getting a second opportunity at a job. Or you're having a second, a second chance with a Scorpio or a Leo. Hmm. For some of you. You're reuniting with your father. There's something major happening here. Give me more for a page of pentacles. There's your energy. This could be concerning a child. This could just be a, planning things in the practical stage or an offer coming in. Give me one more for Taurus and love. This is big, Taurus. This is really big. Give me one more for Taurus. Give me one more for Taurus and love. Make it plain for me. Wow. Wow. Give me one more for Taurus, spirit. I'm going to take them. The chariot. The oh, okay. For some of you, this is definitely concerning a water sign here, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancer in particular, a Pisces. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio here. What's under here? The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Strength. There's that Leo energy again. There's been some sort of conflict here. For some of you, you could have multiple offers coming in here. You, some of you definitely have a Scorpio nipping at your heels, period. Because I got a King of Cups <laughs> and Death here. But there's a King of Pentacles here as well. This could definitely be your energy. Wow, Scorpio. I'm a damn Scorpio. Wow, Taurus. What do you got going on here? Let's get into this. There's been some sort of battle here. It feels like you're coming out victorious and whatever this is. Someone definitely had to push through or had to have the courage or had to persevere through something. There's a king of cups here. He's having some sort of ending and transformation. I feel some sort of softening happening here or something. There's something huge happening here. There's some soulmate energy going on here, Taurus. There's wish fulfillment coming in. And I have it coming in from this energy. There's the moon. You could definitely be dealing with the water sign of Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces. Because they're all here. Or Leo. Another earth sign such as yourself. But there's something here. There's, there's the unknown. There's something, there's an energy of moving into the unknown. There's going into some sort of unknown territory with the soulmate because there's a deep connection here. There's wish fulfillment coming in, but there's stress. There's worries. Someone is definitely about to get control of a situation, have success. You could definitely have a soulmate getting ready to travel and come to you. You could be getting ready to travel to a soulmate. There's some sort of second chance that's happening here that's huge and it has something to do with a soulmate connection here a deep one there's wish fulfillment coming in hmm 
Let's see where this is going, Taurus, for my beautiful Taurus. Wow. There's some sort of huge lesson and wisdom being gained. There's a lot of abundance coming in. There's a huge second chance that's coming in. And it's, it's huge. And there's wish fulfillment here. And I do know that it you could tell me you're definitely dealing with the Leo. But it could, it could have definitely been something hard fought. Okay? Because there's huge ends and transformations. I have the masculine energy here having huge ends and transformations. There's definitely a soulmate energy here. This could be someone you had children with or you've known since childhood. Why is the sun here for Taurus? Why is the sun here for Taurus? Make it plain for me. The star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But what did I tell you? This is huge. This is a dream come true. This is a blessing. This is having something, something about hope and faith. The divine get. Give, bringing in something here and here's the page of wands a new beginning could definitely be dealing with the fire sign yep the fool yeah a whole new beginning the aries there's that king of pentacles and strength there's a masculine energy that's having to be courageous and take a courageous action to bring in this reunion and reconciliation because there has been a separation okay he could definitely be having to separate from someone i just have to say it some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces or someone's been hanging on to something for a very long time here. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for Taurus? Make it plain for me, spirit. For Taurus, my beautiful Taurus in love. Why is judgment here? This is like a dream come true. It's a blessing. There's been some sort of huge transformation in a soulmate energy and it's something that's getting ready to move forward. I feel like there's something mysterious about it. It's a bit unknown or you're just simply dealing with a water sign. And there's deep emotions and feelings behind this. Why is judgment here for Taurus spirit? Wow. The nine of wands. There's the wounded warrior. So there's a second chance at something I feel that went terribly wrong. It was a long fought battle. Okay. Someone has definitely been through this, through, through some things and some shit here. But here's the four of wands. There's a deep connection. And there's six of wands. There's victory and success. There's also a ten of wands here. I have to say it. Someone could be deciding to let another situation go and come towards you. Or you're doing this towards someone, Taurus. And this is huge. Because there's victory and success. But there's also ten wands here. This nine of wands, this wounded warrior is dropping a heavy burden. But there's a deep connection here. And there's victory and success and acknowledgement here. There's a king of cups. And he's bringing in an ace of pentacles. Bam. You could definitely be dealing with a cancer Scorpio Pisces. But there is a whole new beginning for a soulmate connection. King and queen of cups with the ace of pentacles. Yep. There's been some sort of conflict. Competition. There could have even been third party situations. Why is the hierophant here? For some of you. If this isn't about love, Taurus. And this is just work. You're definitely getting some sort of promotion. Or second chance. Or huge opportunity here. Okay. Why is the Hierophant here? The hangman in the world. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Some of you could have been stuck in some sort of commitment and contract for a very long time. And now, and, and now things are wrapping up. There's some huge cycles closing out. Some lessons being learned, okay? I feel like this hangman is getting this enlightenment here. That's probably this wounded warrior. But there is a solid, stable connection here towards you. A Taurus, yeah, there's someone that wants to that wants to build this with you, or this is coming in towards you. The two of swords. I feel like you may not see this coming because there's something mysterious here about this. The fool, yeah, someone's getting ready to take a whole new leap. Someone could literally be fighting off foolish behavior. Someone could have had to learn a huge lesson. Okay, someone could have had to, someone could have been stuck until they learned a huge lesson. Okay, that someone could have been foolish and, had, and now they have to fight off foolish behavior. And this could have been holding this up. But there's definitely wish fulfillment coming in. I have an emperor bringing in a ten of pentacles. Some of you are definitely getting a new job or a new contract. Some of you are definitely you're starting your own businesses or something to this effect. But there is an emperor bringing in a ten of pentacles here. It's karma destined, destined and faded. Okay. You could definitely be dealing with the Leo, but there's definitely been someone that's, have, that's, that's learned some shit and having to be courageous here. Why is the page of pentacles here for Taurus? The Ten of Wands. See, there's the heavy burden being dropped. There's an offer coming in that's relieving a lot of pressure. There's a heavy burden being dropped. Children could be involved in this, but someone is definitely figuring out or, or watching or have learned a huge lesson here. And it's closing out some cycles and it's allowing some sort of abundance, illumination, and a second chance here. Yep, there's a queen of swords that someone is keeping an eye on here. Or she's studying and watching and she and she's learned this. There's an intention, a two of wands to move forward. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Capricorn, but I do feel like someone is leaving some toxic shit in the past. Okay? Hmm. 
Why is the moon, the chariot, and the two of cups here? This is a soulmate connection moving forward. Moving at your six of swords. Another, yeah, this some of you, this is definitely involving traveling. Some of you, this is literally traveling and coming together. But there's a there's genuine love and affection and emotional, deep, deep, deep feelings with you and someone here. And there is an energy to me of getting ready to move forward, kind of into the unknown. But it's happening. This is huge and it's happening. And it's kind of unknown and stress, fears, and worries. But there is an energy of taking control, having victory and success, and literally moving and coming together. A soulmate connection where there's love. Something has been delayed. Seven of Pentacles has been reviewed, but there's wish fulfillment coming in. I feel like someone's feel like they've waited long enough. There's an offer coming in. Someone is definitely walking away from people, places, and things that's no longer serving them, and they're getting a second chance opportunity. It's something that they've been wanting for a while. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. But there's, there's that death and that sun. There's endings and transformations, and then there's a blessing and illumination coming in. And the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness here at stake, all right? This is how I'm seeing it, Taurus. Is if the messages resonate, give me the like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for that private reading, my email information is in the description box below. I love you, Taurus. I hope the messages made sense. I hope it resonated. I hope you guys continue to take care of yourselves. And I thank you very much for watching every one of my videos. I'll bring you some more soon. Namaste, Taurus. Take care. Bye-bye.